All right, guys, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another top 100 video. We are indeed in the top 50, and that's a real success. But what wasn't a success is probably the six or seven videos previous. So I'm going to say from number like 58, 57, all the way down to 51. Um, I was in a happy mood. And uh, look, I don't need to tell you why I was so happy. It was most probably obvious. Um, not only was I in my alter ego, White Morpheus, but I'd also consumed... A hell of a lot of drinks. I was having a fucking ball. I really was. And I hope you guys I hope you guys got a laugh out of it. I hope you guys had fun. Because I was. Although, when you do watch certain videos back and you, you, you're completely stone cold sober, you think... Jeez, I don't know. Maybe I should have waited. Anyways, guys. It's been about two or three days. Big weekend. Not going to lie. And it started um, when, whilst doing those videos. So, here we are. Number 50 on the list. Micah Hyde. Safety for the Bills. Let's get into it. Shotgun split backfield, slot left at the Buffalo 34, first and 10. Jones pumps, pumps, long launch, deep down the left side. It is picked off, sliding grab in the end zone. <laughs> the Bills, Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde just snatched it away from him at the last moment. That little play, bro. Holy sh! That might have been the greatest play I've ever witnessed. Yeah, live, it, might, it may well have been the greatest play you've ever witnessed. You wouldn't have expected that to happen. It's a game of inches, and in this case, the defense came out on top. What the f... What? what? It's almost like a glitch. Bro, it's like on the field. Hopefully they're going to break it down. Jordan, what did you see from, from Mike on that play? I told him on the sideline, I, that might have been the most unbelievable play I've ever seen <laughs> on the field. I was playing man on tight end, and I saw Mac throw the ball in the air. It looked like the receiver had maybe a step, but you know, Michael was there. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! I got a late jump on it, honestly. Um, I felt like I could have got an earlier jump. I didn't believe it right away. But when I knew he was throwing, I just put my head down and started running. You know, I thought the ball was going to be at the receiver, and I just looked up at the last second, and the ball was there. It should. Well, i got to say, i got to say, so there's two, okay, there's, there's three perfect things happening right now. The throw, uh, the route, and the interception. Be no surprise to see Micah Hyde cover a lot of ground. Hyde with a remarkable... He couldn't even see it, for God's sake. Oh, <laughs> that ball has got to have just come into his range of view within the last, what? Jeez, it wouldn't even be a millisecond, honestly. Recovery. That's a hell of a catch. The Bills safety what? seems... You'd feel so cheated as the receiver and the thrower. ...to be all over the field. Oh, he's getting sacked as well. Nowhere. Micah Hyde just rips the ball out. And strips. And then he recovers it. Making plays from everywhere. Well, that's a big time play by Micah Hyde. Oh, what's he done to my Jags? Right from the start. Just, a, just a big, big hit. You see him coming from this dead sprint right back to the Jaguar. I think Micah's athleticism, he doesn't Bang. get enough credit for it. A play that reminds me of his athleticism is going back two years ago against the Dolphins. He jumps up on an onside kick, spins in the air, catches it on one foot and goes and scores a touchdown. <laughs> I think I've seen this. I think that, 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 that does ring a bell, but... It doesn't take away any of the uh, excitement or um, ridiculousness of that play. All you want to do as the defending team, well, you're going to be attacking, but you're defending the kick. All you want to do is, is smother it. All you want to do is get down on the ground. He's done that and more. But what I do want to say is, how did he get the kick up so high? Me, of his athleticism, is going back two years ago against the Dolphins. He jumps up on an onside kick, Look at that. spins in the air. I, that's a... Well, it's actually, it's not even an onside kick, is it? Because it needs to be... Does it need to be 10 yards? He caught it before the 10-yard line. Anyway. Catches it on one foot and goes and scores a touchdown for us. Sorry, defending team can catch it anywhere. Attacking team need to wait for it to get 10 yards. Got you. Just like in rugby. But I tell you what, you wouldn't see that happen every day. He's one of the most athletic guys I've ever known. There's a picture of Micah, the Colts game last year, then the playoffs. Where they one of the most athletic guys you've ever known. Well, with that in mind, you know what to do. Nick Minnett. Micah Hyde. 
born 1990, so he's a veteran. I'll go out on a limb and say he's a veteran. December 31st, 1990, 31 years of age, 6 foot even, 197 pounds, went to Iowa uh, State or Iowa... There's two Iowa teams. Anyway, what was it? Iowa Hawkeyes, gotcha. Got picked up in the 2013 draft, pick number 159 in the fifth round. Went to the Packers for four years, and he's been at the Bills since 2017. One Pro Bowl appearance in 2017, in his first year at the Bills. But if we're talking about... <clears throat> sorry guys, if we're talking about sheer out-and-out -out athleticism, I don't know, I think he transitions this pretty damn well into the game. He stands... At 5'11 and 3 quarters, 197 pounds, 4.56 for the 40 yard dash, 6.78 for the 3 cone drill, 33 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 1 on the broad jump, and 12 reps on the bench. He's played 142 total games. It's getting up there. 583 combined tackles, uh, 5 sacks, including one last year, 59 passes deflected, 22 interceptions, including 5 last year. A career high. And the list goes on and on. He's played... Fuck, he's played a lot of postseason games. He's played 15 postseason games. And that's what you get playing with Green Bay and, and Buffalo. Especially in the last couple of years with Buffalo. But um, has he got a Super Bowl? Has he got a Super Bowl? Let's have a look. No, he doesn't. Unfortunate. Can they do it this year? Maybe. Let's see. They do a jump ball... And the picture looks like he's three feet in the air. Like he's head and shoulders above every... Hang on, what was this play? Picture of Micah, the Colts game last year in the playoffs where they threw a jump ball. And the picture looks like he's three feet in the air. Like he's head and shoulders above everybody else and knocking the ball down. Micah Hyde goes high, times it perfectly and spikes... See, that's a 33-inch that's a vertical. He must have improved, let's be honest. He's been in the league for like eight years. He must have improved. It's got to be up towards 36. It's the ball for the win. I've seen him dunk out here on this rim. Micah Hyde goes over the top of Deontay Johnson to bat that ball down. I don't think he's bad at anything. Like whether it's shooting basketball, whether it's, I mean, I'm sure he's probably good at golf too, but just an all-around athlete. Look, I don't know if we'll go that far. He's a football player. Period. Hands down. He's got the best film study habits that I've ever seen, next to like a quarterback or something, maybe. Shit. He, That's big praise. Knows where he's supposed to be. He From knows where the ball's gonna be. I into the air and Micah Hyde somehow came up with it. Micah knows how to play this game. He is a football player. Maybe Micah Hyde could dominate bad, the lyrics or the courts. But what he still does best is fly around the football field. Micah Hyde got the tip pass and cruised into the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown. And it should be no surprise that the safety who was anywhere and everywhere once again turned up on the players' list. Well, he wasn't there last year, but he certainly made it this year. Uh, guys, sounds as if he's only getting better and better. And at age 31, um, that is music to my ears, being that I'm 31 too. So uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go out and say anything stupid like I normally would such as it's not all over for me either because I'm sitting on a couch and he's on a football field anyway sounds as if he's got at least you know a good three or four more good years and for that I say good luck go Bills and go Jags and go Bucks and go Finns maybe those four maybe maybe, maybe I'll maybe I'll follow four this year either way I'll work it out in the next one we're looking at Devondre Campbell Linebacker for the Packers. And from behind, he reminds me of another guy who we haven't actually seen on this list thus far. But I'll talk about that and more in the next video. Thank you so much for being here, guys. We're in the top half. That is a good feeling. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.